You must be Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. I'm Henry Carruthers, the stage manager. Inspector Lestrade told me you might want to look about the place. Well, feel free. I'm afraid we can't be of much help. Poor Sarah. Is that the girl who witnessed uh, the incident? Yes. Her name is Sheila Parker. She was in a dreadful state earlier. Faint and dead away, as you can see. She's still very upset. I doubt she'll be able to answer any questions just yet. Miss Parker, I'm sorry to trouble you. Do you think you could bring yourself to describe what you saw? I saw Sarah lying there. Oh, it's so horrible. I can't bear to think about it. She seems near hysterical, Holmes, and rightly so. I doubt she'll be of much help in her current condition. problem with that door, Mr. Carruthers, which is to say, what are you doing? The tightest problem, 
I'm attempting to repair it. I'm afraid it's caught in the arm, mate. I'll probably have to hire a locksmith to do the work. Who forced this door? Well, Inspector Lestrade thinks it was the Ripper. He says that the Ripper broke in here, dragged Sarah out into the alley to murder her. You think that's what happened, Mr. Holmes? The inspector has many fine qualities, but he is overly fond of theatrics. It is clear that the murderer did not attack Miss Carraway here in this room. What is your evidence for that, Mr. Holmes? The location of the woman's hat. Exactly what I thought, Mr. Holmes. She wouldn't have had her hat unless she was going out the back door. That means the Ripper must have broken in during the performance and then went back outside to wait for her. I can't see that anything's missing, though. Do you know of anyone who might have harbored a grudge towards Miss Cataway? A rival or jilted lover? Or perhaps an obsessive admirer? Certainly not. I can't imagine why anyone would want to arm her. She wasn't the greatest actress, but she was popular in a way and sweet. I thought you'd mention it. There was a young fellow who was asking about her a short time back. He seemed rather suspicious. What was suspicious about him? I found him hanging about in the alley. He asked if Sarah worked there. I offered to take a message, but he refused to leave his name or his reason for calling. But he was just a lad, no more than 17, bright-eyed, very single-minded. He didn't want to see Sarah so much as he wanted her address. Uh, did you give it to him? Well, you take me for it, sir. I'll go ahead and the girl's over there. He's dim with just after his boy, thank you very much. My refusal didn't seem to bother him at all, though. He just smiled and thanked me for my time. Pretty as you please. Then he said, if I change my mind, you make it work well, and that I could leave a message for him at the moon gate. Whatever that means. Do you have the key to that chest of drawers? No, the master key only opens the doors. Sarah is the only one who had the key to that chest. I think she had a spare, but I don't know where she kept it. Have you recalled any details that might assist my investigation? I think I told you everything I know. This woman's distress appears to be genuine, Watson. As a professional observer, would you say her behavior is that of a person who has suffered a terrible shock? Well, she's certainly within what I would call the credible emotional range of such a person. I believe her response to be authentic, though the woman is an actress. And you yourself, Holmes, have fooled me countless times in sham performances. Watson, do you have anything that might calm Miss Parker? We might as well have the benefit of her testimony, meager though Lestrade claims it to be. Yes, Holmes, I'm carrying a potent sedative. A small dose should do the trick. Try giving her this. Thank you, sir. I feel better, but much like I'm swimming underwater. I think I can answer your questions now, if my tongue will obey my brain. Miss Parker, do you now think you might tell us what you saw of this terrible murder? I saw Sarah lying there dead. Blood was everywhere, but especially by her head, I could see her. Her insides. A man in a cloak was running off into the street, but I didn't get no good look at him. I didn't see no more than that, so honest, I, I just ran in here and fainted, I guess. I think I know Mr. Carruthers is waving his coat in my face.
Do you know any of her friends or relatives? No, sir, not personally. I didn't even know sir very well. But about a week ago, Sarah got this painting. I believe that it was. She said it was from her sister. I believe her name was Anna or Hannah. But I know where she lives. This perfume was a gift, wasn't it? Do you know who gave it to her? She said it was from a special friend, but I know nothing about it. I called for her here from time to time, but she was very secretive, always making sure everybody was away before she brought him out. As far as I know, he's the only one to see the inside of this room, other than Mr. Carruthers. I have no idea why she did it when he showed him off. I found this playbill in the alleyway. Does this written on the back mean anything to you? Let me see it. I wondered where that got to. My fiance came in all the way from Golders Green that night. He couldn't wait to tell me he'd found a flat for us. We're to be married early in the new year. I believe in the theater. But none too soon by the looks of it. Do you know anyone who could be responsible for this brutal attack? I didn't know anybody on Earth could do such a thing as what was done to her. Now I know. There's monsters in the world for certain. But I can't believe they are friends of mine, or Sarah's for that matter. What was your relationship to Miss Carroll? I was her understudy. We were performing the play, The Loves of Hattie Hill, and Sarah was the lead. I played Beth, the servant girl, but I understudied the lead in case... In case... Oh, I can't bear to think about it! Can you direct me to anyone who might help me learn more about Miss Carroll? No, sir. I'm sorry, like I said, I didn't know her very well. She was very protective of her personal life. I believe this spring may be helpful in repairing the lock. Oh yes, thank you. I believe that's just a piece I need. I'll have this finished in just a moment if your fingers don't fail me. What does this room tell you of the victim? Mm, the portraits of actors from the past uh, suggest that she was comfortable and happy in her profession. Uh, judging by the flowers and perfume, I'd say that she was more liked than despised. Watson, have you espied any new detail? Blind relation stuck your breath. I regret to admit, Holmes, that I am more confused now than when we arrived. 